this is problem number 7 on uh, resolution and composition of forces go through the problem the resultant of a force system on a bracket as shown in figure bracket means it is a structural element okay usually made of steel uh, is acting vertically upwards okay he says that resultant force is acting vertically upwards if the angle 30 degree between 2 4 kilonewton force is fixed okay this 30 kilonewton force is fixed find the angle theta okay you need to find the angle theta here angle theta is required and uh, we should also find magnitude of the resultant force theta and resultant force this is what the question okay now uh, as the resultant lies in y axis uh, what are the two conditions? If the resultant lies in y axis, sigma fx equal to 0 and sigma f i equal to r. Okay. So, below you write in the solution part. Uh, solution as resultant lies in y axis, as resultant lies in y axis. R sigma fx equal to R and sigma so sigma f i is equal to R and sigma fx equal to 0 sigma fx is equal to 0 and sigma f i is equal to R okay sigma f i equal to R these these are the two conditions which we have if the resultant lies in y axis okay now uh, uh, we will use the condition sigma fx equal to 0 using or uh, taking taking sigma fx is equal to 0 condition okay sigma fx equal to 0 condition so we need to find uh, sum of forces in x direction and we have to equate it to 0 Okay, before that, you write components for all the inclined forces. So, for this 2 kilonewton force, horizontal inclination is 60 degree. Therefore, 2 cos 60 vertical component is 2 sin 60. Okay. For this 4 kilonewton force, important here, angle 30 degree is between the 4 kilometer force but to write the components we need inclination with respect to the x axis okay therefore inclination of this 4 kilometer force with the x axis is 30 plus theta thirty plus theta okay therefore horizontal component is 4 cos 30 plus theta vertical component is 4 sin 30 plus theta okay don't consider 30 degree alone because it is not the angle with respect to x axis it is angle with, with the another 4 kilonewton force okay to write the components we need horizontal angle inclination with the x axis so inclination with the x axis is 30 plus theta Therefore, using that 30 plus theta, I have written the components. Okay. And for this one more 4 kilonewton force, horizontal component is 4 cos theta, vertical component is 4 sin theta. Okay. Now, you find sigma fx, means sum of forces in x direction, equal to 0. So, minus 20 cos 60. 20 cos 60 is acting in left direction, sin is minus, minus 20 cos 60, then uh, plus 4 cos 30 plus theta, plus 4 cos 30 plus theta, then plus 4 cos theta, plus 4 cos theta is equal to 0. 
okay so cos 60 value is 0 0.5 0 0.5 into 20 minus 10 minus 10 plus so in these two terms uh, 4 is common take 4 common in the bracket we will get uh, cos 30 plus theta plus cos theta is equal to 0 therefore uh, 4 cos 30 plus theta plus cos theta is equal to plus 10 I have taken 10, 10 to the RHS Now sorry here uh, the force is 2 kN sorry here it is 2 I will make it 2 so 2 cos 60 means it becomes minus 1 so here it will be plus 1 ok instead of taking 2 uh, I had taken 20 so I have corrected it now so cos 30 plus theta plus cos theta is equal to 1 by 4 1 by 4 ok so this term is in the form of cos c plus d cos c plus cos d correct it is in the form of cos c plus cos d and formula for cos c plus cos d is uh, what 2 cos c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2 is the formula so we will apply this formula ok therefore expanding this LHS cos 30 plus theta plus theta divided by 2 2 cos ok into cos 30 plus theta minus theta divided by 2 is equal to 1 by 4 theta theta gets cancelled therefore 2 cos 30 plus 2 theta divided by 2 into cos 30 by 2 is cos 15 cos 15 is equal to 1 by 4 ok now 2 cos 15 2 into cos 15 value is uh, 1 point 931 into cos so in this term I will take 2 common 15 plus theta 4 divided by 2 is equal to 1 by 4 2 gets cancelled therefore 1.931 cos 15 plus theta is equal to 1 by 4 ok therefore cos 15 plus theta is equal to cos 15 plus theta is equal to you take 1.931 to the RHS so it becomes 1 whole divided by 4 into 1.931 the value of which is uh, 0 0.129 therefore 15 plus theta is equal to cos inverse of 0 0.129 therefore 15 plus theta is equal to the angle uh, that you get is 82.56 degrees therefore theta is equal to 82.56 minus 15 the final answer is 67.5 degrees so by this you, will get, you have got the angle theta ok now we got the angle theta now we also want the magnitude of the resultant force to get magnitude of the resultant force we will use the second condition we will use the second condition taking now taking sigma fi is equal to r condition <coughs> now you find sum of forces in y direction in y direction that will be equal to resultant force ok therefore r is equal to <coughs> sigma fi uh, plus 2 sin 60 
प्लस टू साइन सिक्सटी देन प्लस फोर साइन थर्टी प्लस टीटा प्लस फोर साइन थर्टी प्लस टीटा प्लस फोर साइन टीटा ओके सब टू डी वैल्यू ऑफ टीटा टीटा इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री आर इज इक्वल टू टू साइन सिक्सटी प्लस फोर साइन थर्टी प्लस सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव प्लस फोर साइन सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव बाय दिस वी गेट द रिजल्टेंट फोर्स दैट इज नाइन पॉइंट थ्री नाइन फोर किलोमीटर ओके दिस कंप्लीट्स द प्रॉब्लम थैंक यू